I'm Nicolette. And my name is Ian. And we're going to tour the Mojave Center today. Our Mojave Center is located one hour west of Las Vegas in the Mojave Desert. We experience extreme heat and extreme cold. We have very little desert foliage and very little water. We are one of the driest places in the world, less than two inches a year in rain. Um, but it is very beautiful and it's very special in our hearts. So we are an education center. We focus on natural building, natural plasters, and desert water harvesting. Uh, here in the desert, we started with earth bags or the earth domes because it was the fastest, easiest, cheapest, and most sustainable way to start building out here. Um, the bags are filled with the dirt that you see beneath our feet, which is silt and sand basically. We have zero clay in our soil, and so the domes were the easiest um, way to start building. Uh, the domes themselves are made of sandbags filled with dirt, 5% cement, and that's basically it. So it's the most easily accessible building style for this area. And so as you see here behind me, we have quite a few, we have nine on site already. And the ones you see right behind me are gonna be student dwelling homes. So for when we have workshops here, students can come learn how to build a stone while simultaneously being able to sleep in a dome. These domes behind me are eight foot in diameter domes. They were built in they range from about five to eight days of completion, which is pretty great. That's for the building stage, and then about two weeks in finished work. So plasters, door installs, window installs, and such. So as I mentioned before, dome, these domes can be built really quick. Um, how we build them is we put a center compass in the middle of the dome with a chain and a key ring on the end. Our chain is our center compass and it's basically giving us a perfect circle with, um, around in our, in our side of our dome to keep us on compass. We lay our foundation first, which is just earth bags as well, but we add 10% cement into our dirt soil mix as well. Um, from there, we fill the bags with dirt, we tamp them, and then lay barbed wire in between each row. So each row has a layer of barbed wire to add tensile strength, and this helps with the earthquake resistance or any type of movement that will happen and um, add to the structural integrity of the building. Um, as we go up in height, there's also another height compass that is across the dome, and it gives us what we call a lancet arch or a gothic arch. Um, this is very like basic geometry math, right? As we're raising this height compass up, it's giving us an arc, and then simultaneously we're matching our center compass with our height compass to give us each ring as we lay separately, layer by layer, until eventually the dome closes in, giving us that perfect arch and the structural integrity that we're looking for. So some of the benefits of building with earth bags is, well, there's many. Uh, one that we like is they are earthquake resistant. They're also completely flame retardant, which means they will not burn down. They're made of dirt. Uh, they are not insulated, but they are thermal mass. So what that means is it's basically like a cave. Um, the sun is heating the outside. The sun is coming through the walls very, very slowly through the walls of earth and then slowly making its way on the inside. Uh, it normally makes its way inside, like the heat makes its way inside during the middle of the night, which is the best time that you want heat coming into your building. Uh, so they're a great building style for the desert uh, because we get such harsh er, temperature swings from cold to hot. So once we've finished building our domes, um, we're going to go and talk about plasters now. So the main thing to think about with plasters is that we have to protect these polypropylene bags. And so the easiest way to do that is with a cheap and simple clay plaster. So this is an example of a very rough clay plaster. This is just what we used on the outside to cover the bags. It's really cheap, it's accessible, you can use most of your native soil if you have clay in there. 
to um, make this plaster. So if you look up close here, it's just gonna have uh, points of sand in it. So we use concrete sand. You're gonna have different layers of uh, straw mixed into that mix, and then you're gonna have clay as our binder to bring everything together. Um, so it's important to cover these bags, otherwise over X amount of hours, maybe about 2,000 hours, you're gonna have degrading of the bags, and um, you're gonna need to protect those. So this is a very basic plaster that we'll first do when we're done with our dome. So after we've finished our rough base coat plaster to cover the bags, um, this would be the next step. So this is the largest dome that we have here, and it takes a lot of plastering strength to finish this. And so we're still forming a little bit of the edges to make sure that it's nice and smooth and an egg shape. So after you do that rough plaster, you're gonna go ahead and put on a lime and cement plaster, um, mainly because these, these domes don't have roofs, and we need to make sure that our plaster is acting as strong as possible. So we incorporate lime, cement, and sand into this plaster, and that's why it turns this gray color right here. So welcome to one of our um, largest domes at our demonstration site. This one is a 16-foot diameter dome, and an 8-foot diameter dome, and a 10-foot diameter dome tied into itself. So these two domes are apsed into this large one. This one is a living space, so this is going to be a demonstration of a small house that you can make. Um, so this is the living space. This will be a small kitchenette over here, and this will be, once again, a bedroom. Um, so, similar to what we did with the rough plasters on the outside, we'll do the same thing on here so that we can shape this and make it look really smooth. Um, so that's what we've already started to do on this side here, so you can see how the bags start to disappear, and now you're starting to smooth out the shape and make it look more warm and welcoming. Um, this one uh, still needs work on here for the base plaster, um, but the idea is that once we're done with all this, this will be a, a welcoming representation of a small earth home that someone or a couple could live inside of. So some unique features about this dome is that um, we want to incorporate some passive cooling. So this is an example of a, a wind scoop. And so this is an attachment on the outside of the dome that will bring air from the top of the building down through it and then entering into this room, the main space, and the other room. One, two. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Okay. Oh my god, how did I get up here? So, uh, I'd like to introduce the skylight. So, most of these domes, if you don't uh, open up the top of them, especially on larger ones, what can happen is you can make a cave. And uh, we're not cave dwellers, we're trying to demonstrate what an actual house would look like. So we put some natural light at the bottom, but at the top it's nice to have some additional natural light that comes through the top. So um, with this one we just put a very simple plexiglass sheet at the top and decided not to close out the dome and leave this open so that we can get some nice natural light at the top. It also acts as a venting system, so when the hot air rises to the top of the dome during the summertime, we can go ahead and open this up and vent it out in the evenings, cooling down the building. So we uh, talked about the lime and cement as our second stage of plastering on the dome. The final cap that we like to do is a uh, elastomeric paint. So this has a low VOC, uh, VOC or volatile organic compounds, um, and you can find this at any hardware store or Home Depot. And this is nice because we can put this building in a really wet climate and nothing will deteriorate the plaster. Um, so it's important to have that strong layer underneath that lime and cement with the sand on top of that rough plaster. And then finally the skin at the top is this uh, elastomeric paint which we do about four gallons on just an eight footer. And uh, this, will, this paint will last for more than 10 years and it's easy to repair. And um, like I said, it's really great for a wet climate. So now we're going to take a look inside of one of our eight-foot student dwelling homes. Uh, this one is finished. It has the earthen floor and the final coat plaster. 
To finish these domes, we start with, just like we do on the outside, we do a clay uh, base coat plaster, then we refine the materials, do a clay mid coat, and then we do a even finer materials to make a clay final coat plaster. Okay, here we are back at our shower dome. One of the things that we do at the Mojave Center beyond natural building is we are trying to restore uh, regenerative water harvesting and desert uh, desert ecology in our center. So we recycle our water here. So our shower dome behind us here feeds all of our plants that we started growing here. This is just one example of a desert rain basin that we're starting. We have a bunch of them on site and they're going to be a lot more. But this one here we're starting with native plants uh, to start help bringing green back into our desert. Here's a quick look um, of our shower dome on site. This, this space is one of the most magical spaces on our property. Uh, we have a rain shower where all the water comes down and then feeds the plants on the outside. Inside, um, this was also made from earth bag. We have an earth bag bench that you see here. And then what makes this space unique is it has a lime plaster on the, um, on the interior, which makes it waterproof from any splashing. This is almost complete. We still need our floor, um, which will cap this off and then a little bit more of the final coat plasters on the inside but we're really happy with this space and this is like I said the most magical space on our property I think. All right thanks for doing a short tour with us and uh, stay tuned as we continue our work out here. And be sure to check out our website we host an array of workshops out here ranging from plaster parties and dome building. Our 2023 season will be launching soon and um, we hope to see you out here. Uh, we post a lot of updates on our Instagram as well. Be sure to check that out and follow along. And we can't wait to see you out in the desert. Bye. Bye. Let me be free.